Hello ladies and gentlemen, Aussie Roadshow back again with another update. Um, I've got the camera trained onto the TV because I'm going to um, put Maniac on. And the reason why I'm putting on a video Classics Gold is because I promised um, here a little wombat that I would uh, show a little catalogue that I got in the oh, Mandingo tape that I got years ago because he did a video classics update, sort of for me really. So let's get started. I'll put this in. We'll enjoy the trailers and um, we'll get underway. All right, Mr. Wombat. Mandingo, you would not believe the shock I got when I opened this damn thing and found a little 1982 video classics inside. Now the one I've, of Mandingo I've got is um, mint condition and I checked some of my old videos and I do recall uh, showing this before but not the actual catalogue um, and it's also got like the warranty card inside it so someone obviously bought this brand new for probably a huge amount of money um, I think that opens up, I don't fucking know but yeah they offered a 30 day warranty on your VHS tapes if they were faulty and, um, so that's that and as for the catalogue, well, let's have a look through. And like I said, from 1982. Did I just say it was from 1982? Well, it is. There you go. We'll have a quick flick through this fucking thing. And just for the sake of, um, you know, getting a handle on what sort of stuff was released here years and years ago. So you can see Patrick there. I don't know what that one was in. Um, the Swap. Never seen that movie before. Tis a pity she's a whore. First, so obviously a few Aussie films thrown in there, but anyway, a bit of um, background on this one. What's that one? Allegro non troppo. Um, video classics were pretty much. Oh shit! Better cover some titties. Hang on. Video classics were pretty much the first company to release VHS tapes um, in this country, and I assume New Zealand. I I don't know for sure. But um, yeah, so these are all the adult features that they released. White grippy girl. Guess what we learned in school today? Hmm. Black deep throat. Girls at the gynecologist. That sounds interesting. Gas pump girls. Now they used to show at the um, Astor Theatre. They used to have like a cult night on um, Monday nights. So they used to show that regularly, but they haven't shown it for some years now. Some tits and nasty there I have to cover, sorry. Young Cycle Girls, blah blah blah, Caged Heat, Women's Prison. Alright, and then we got the horror movies, you can see there, a couple of old, old pictures and shit. And um, family movies, music, a bit of Blondie, Split Ends. You know, Blondie actually charted in this country before anywhere else in the world. Just want to throw that in there because I was reading on the internet. I think it's their like official page that um, they first broke in the UK. Well, that is not true. Just thought I'd fucking correct history right there. So there you go. There's the old catalogue. Okay, let's put Maniac on and I'll show you a new update with well all sorts of different stuff. All right, I've just put Maniac in and um, I'm going to start off with the VHS tape and. I'm going to start off with this one called Raging Fury. Um, it's about an hour later, by the way, because my fucking camera battery was about to go flat. Um, anyway, Raging Fury. I've had this one for years, and I'm pretty sure I've shown it before, but I only just watched it for the first time, like last night. I never watched it before. I tell you what, this is such a stupid, stupid movie. It's about like a, a science teacher at school who, um, as a little girl, her actions lead to the death of a couple on a motorbike and it's part of the local legend. Anyway, she gets bullied by some kids at school and she ends up flipping out and killing quite a few of them. And it's quite a nasty film. Like, some of the murders in this are pretty nasty. I'm thinking, I bet this film got cut in the UK and sure enough, I did a BBFC website search and found it was cut by one and a half minutes. Our version appears to be uncut, but yeah, some of the, the um, scenes in that were quite nasty. So if you're looking for some 80s trash, I'd recommend Raging Fury. All right. Let's move on to some Blu-rays. I'm going to start off, I bought this as part of a voucher, the local release of Salo. Um, what can I say about this? I know you can get this cheaper in Britain, but 
I decided to support the local distributor. That's just me. Anyway, it looks beautiful, quite nice, and nice to watch it again on Blu-ray as opposed to DVD or at the scratchy old print of the cinema. Um, this looks like a slim line. This is Baraka. I got this one recently. This Blu-ray truly is stunning. If you want to see a beautiful Blu-ray, this is the one for you. Um, oh, it just looks stunning. This is very similar to the films like Kwiani Skatsi and all that sort of stuff, but I think Baraka's better than that. I remember seeing Nakoi Katsi at the Ash store, and it was so bad, like I nearly fell asleep, it was so terrible. Anyway, Baraka, beautiful, beautiful film about life, and I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I, I like Baraka. You know, Evil Dead was released on um, Filmways VTC. This film has never, ever had censorship trouble in this country. It's, you know, censorship was hit and miss back in the 80s. Um, but yeah, that one's always been uncut. Anyway, The Shining. The Shining looks beautiful, sounds beautiful. Oh man, what can you say about The Shining? Everyone knows about it. Jack Nicholson's brilliant. And um, yeah, I love this film, love the Blu-ray, and it was quite cheap as well. I don't know if I've shown this one before. <laughs> I can't remember. Of The Fog. One of my favourite horror movies of all time. I am actually working on doing a video of my favourite horror films, which sounds completely egotistical, but I might do it anyway. So yeah, there's the fog on Blu-ray. I got this one for Christmas. The Graduate comes in like a book. I suppose the overseas ones did as well. And um, yeah, I I don't mean to sound like an idiot, but I've never seen The Graduate. Never seen it. It's still in plastic. I've got the DVD of this, but I've got the Goodfellas for Christmas on Blu-ray. So again, another favourite, one of my favourite um, Scorsese movies. Um, Deliverance. Now I haven't seen this movie for quite a number of years. So again, still wrapped in plastic. I haven't taken it out yet, but yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that. It's a very young Burt Reynolds there, isn't it? Hello. Um, oh yeah, that's all the Blu-ray. So let's get something else. Got a new road show. Heavy traffic. Um, I recently added the teaser trailer that appeared. For those who are wondering where I got that teaser, I got got it from. It's at the start of Blood for Dracula on Roadshow. Anyway, Heavy Traffic, Ralph Bakshi. Um, oh, fuck. I'll just cover her over. Sorry. I'm really sorry about that. I can't show nudity of any description. Heavy Traffic. Very funny movie from 1973. The year I was born. And, um... There we go. She's gone. Oh, no. She's still in the shower. Yeah, fucking check out Heavy Traffic. It's very cheap, the, um... God damn, what's her name? Blu-ray? No, not the fucking Blu-ray, the DVD from the United States. Jesus Christ, pull it together, Dad. Picked up another Palace Films, Rodney Rude. So, that's very... Oh, tits again! Fuck! Oh man, I'm gonna have to cover that, sorry. This is, anyway, this is uh, something that was filmed in Sydney in 1984. It's, Rodney Rude's a very crude man. And, um... He's just, he's really just disgraceful. Oh fuck, here's another DVD I've got here. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I haven't seen this for a few years, but that's the two disc special edition I got very cheap from Kmart. And uh, I'm really out of sorts today, this is bad. Picked up this thing, this four disc edition from Umbrella Entertainment, this uh, Driving Delirium. And it's basically 700 minutes of trailers, and they come on like four discs, and they're all exploitation movies and whatnot. It's a little tricky to find in stores, and I might add that even though it's marked with an R rating, they've actually released this unrated. So, so that's volume one, and suffice to say, I've got volume two as well. And um, yeah, there's just hours and hours of um, of trailers, exploitation mainly, sexploitation, all that sort of stuff as well. Again, four discs there. Really great release here from Umbrella. You know, I'm getting sick of this video. I think we'll put something else on here. Alright, I've just picked out this one here called Raw Force. And I think this is one of those cheesy Filipino movies from the 80s or maybe the 70s. I don't know. Um, but this is anyway a new video, Classics Gold, that I've never shown before. So hopefully there's some interesting trailers on this one. And um, yeah, something interesting to distract you if you get sick of me. 
All right, new DVDs. Let's have a look. This one I picked up very, very cheaply. It's actually second hand. Um, Blue Sunshine. I remember seeing this on KTEL video many years ago. And this is an exact replica of the Synapse release from the United States, but that's just the Australian version. I think, who released that? Was it maybe Siren Visual? Yeah. They often do that. They did the same thing with Cannibal Holocaust. They just um, rebadged it. But anyway, Blue Sunshine is uh, quite a good film from way back when. Next up, uh, Francois Ozon. I've mentioned before in some updates that he's one of my favourite directors. So a French film called Under the Sand. This is about the um, mental illness a woman suffers after losing her husband mysteriously in the, in the, well, at the beach. It's quite a moving film and I love Charlotte Rampling. I think she's a great actress. Another French film I picked up on... Oh, something fell down there. Um, La Belle Noiseuse. This is uh, one released by Accent. Again, one of my favourite distributors here. This is a four-hour film. The La Belle Noiseux is uh, French for the beautiful troublemaker. On two discs there. It's even got the little catalogue in there too. Um, this guy, Jacques Rivet, is well known for his very long movies. And in fact, he did a movie back in 1971. I forgot the name. I think it's called Act One. I can't remember. But it went for 12 hours. So four hours isn't too bad. La Belle Noiseux. Looking forward to watching that. I've never seen it before. Um, beautiful Japanese film here called The Ballad of Nariyama. It's a little bit slow to start, but um, I'd recommend that one. I picked this up for 10 bucks at Umbrella. At, uh, I think it was the top end discs I picked that up. So buying it online is really expensive. And a couple of Aussie films. I picked up The Picture Show Man for 10 bucks. That was also at um, top end discs. I've never seen The Picture Show Man before, so I'm looking forward to watching that one. <clears throat> and one I bought off eBay. The Getting of Wisdom, this is a two disc special edition uh, from Umbrella Entertainment. And um, yeah, quite a nice film too from, from memory. Um, I forgot to show these two new road shows. I've got George, I've got that for $1. And also very cheaply I picked up this one called I'm from the Hippopotamus. And that was for $2 at a uh, Salvation Army store. Now believe it or not, I used to work for that video store. And I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but it is true. That is my handwriting from <laughs> nearly 20 years ago. It's true. All right. Picked up a beautiful copy of uh, Robocop, RCA Columbia Hoyts. It doesn't appear... Oh, no, it is an X-Rental, but it's still in the original box, so really happy to have found that. Um, this particular print is different to the DVD version, so that's why I wanted to pick that one up. <clears throat> I also picked up its sequel, Robocop 2. Pretty beat up copy there. Another RCA I picked up was uh, Terror in the Isles. In the Isle? No, it's Isles. So, um, this has got Donald Pleasance and I think Nancy Allen pops up in this too from memory. Yeah, she does. So, um, this is kind of a, like a, a spoof of 80s horror movies. It's hard to explain, you have to watch it. But that's actually a um, good film. I liked it. Here's another RCA I picked up. Uh, the the wild pear that was quite cheap as well. I've never ooh tits fuck. The wild pear. I haven't seen this film before. And um, Lloyd Bridges, Bubba Smith. Look, I'm sure it's 80s trash. All right. Last RCA is this one called Confessions from a Holiday Camp. Believe it or not, I actually got this from a, uh, a Salvation Army store. So they're selling adult films at the moment. Two dollars. The Cutting Class, that's a Vestron, quite a nasty film for an M-rated movie. Very young Brad Pitt on the back there, so that's Cutting Class. Second last one, Prizzy's Honor, which I got cheaply as well, but this one is still in plastic. It's not open yet, so someone bought that at Maya for like 30 bucks all those years ago. And another one that's still sealed, the last one. From Maya, the cell through Police Academy, still wrapped in plastic. Check it out. And I also got that from the Salvation Army store. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching and enjoyed the trailers and shit like that. I um, hope you guys are well. Thanks for your comments and all the rest of it. And I will see you guys very soon for something I don't know what. See ya.